Hi, a uh, very good evening. So today's live discussion, we shall focus on few multiple choice questions from microbiology. I hope you have gone through the soft copy which we shared in Google Group a uh, day before yesterday. I think yesterday, right? So we shall have a discussion pertaining to these set of topics today. So once again, a very good evening. Hi, Bipin. Hi, Hajit. Hi, Subhasish. Richa, hi. Hi, Komal. Hi, Neha. Ganga, Bipin. Devna, Akshaya, Rashid, Tabish, Parichai, Kushbu. Hi, a very good evening. Hi, Ahmad. Hi, Gargi. Hi, Dr. B. So, we shall start our discussion, right? So, coming to the first question. Indications for culture include all except. Indications for culture of microorganisms include all except. Option A, isolate bacteria in pure culture. Option B, demonstrate properties of microbes. Option C, estimate viable counts. Option D, none of the above. I have by mistake mentioned it as all. Strike it off and convert that into none. So option D is none. So option A, isolate bacteria in pure culture. Option B, demonstrate properties of microbes. Option C, estimate viable counts. Option D, none. So, indications for culture include all except is the question. So, culture of microorganisms indications. So we have a huge list of indications for culture of microorganisms, which we'll discuss now, right? Hi, Ahmad. Good evening. A very good evening. Yes. So Komal says option A, Tabish says option D, Akshaya, Komal, Nawalka, BA. Okay, we have a division of opinion between option A and option D. So you don't think isolating bacteria in pure culture is an indication for culturing of microorganisms? Okay, see in clinical laboratory the indications of culturing include the following. Isolating bacteria in pure cultures, right? Isolating bacteria in pure cultures is also an indication for culturing and also demonstrate the properties of microorganisms octogen resistant various antibiotic uh, resistant organisms and demonstrate the properties and also their ability to convert the given media uh, with various color indicators and all right so demonstration of properties of microorganisms is also an indication for culturing and also to obtain sufficient growth for preparation of antigens right that's the reason why we even go for culturing and to type or to classify various organisms or isolates which we have obtained in a sample based on their ability to react with various substances or based on their susceptibility to different substances like bacteriocin or bacteriophages etc. So that this culturing can be done to type or to isolate or to type or to classify bacteria right and also to determine the sensitivity to antibiotics. Obviously we do culture, we place antibiotic discs and to evaluate or to assess whether the given group of organisms are resistant or susceptible to these antibiotics. And also to estimate viable counts and to maintain stock volumes of microorganisms. Right? So these are some of the indications of culture. Right. So option B, none of the above is the right answer. So all those which are mentioned in option A, B and C are clear cut indications for culturing of microorganisms, right? Yes, so indications for culture include all except, so option D is the right answer. So I'll just repeat all the indications of culture. First one being isolating bacteria in pure cultures. Second one being like ability to demonstrate the properties of microorganisms and to obtain sufficient growth for preparation of various antigens and to classify various organisms based on their properties and also to determine the sensitivity to various antibiotics. 
and to estimate variable counts and to maintain stock volumes right so these are the list of indications for culturing of microorganisms right i hope it's clear now moving on to second question capnophilic bacteria include so this is purely memory based so these are the points which we need to enter in our notes and we have to revise them time to time so we have various capnophilic bacteria so of the given options which one is or which one falls under capnophilic so we have options pseudomonas aeruginosa trypanoma pallidum bacillus stereodermophilus and brucella abortus so four options which one is the right answer yes capnophilic are those in fact all bacteria utilize carbon dioxide right they utilize carbon dioxide but these capnophilic use more amount of carbon dioxide comparatively around 5 to 10% of carbon dioxide is essential for their nutritional requirements yes so capnophilic bacteria includes pseudomonas aeruginosa trypanoma pallidum bacillus stereodermophilus brucella abortus hi ashwarya very good evening capnophilic bacteria yes so all bacteria as mentioned previously require small amounts of carbon dioxide for their growth this requirement is usually met by carbon dioxide which is present in the atmosphere or which is produced endogenously through cellular metabolism however there are some bacteria such as brucella abortus option b which require much higher levels of carbon dioxide in the range of 5 to 10% for their growth and these are considered to be capnophilic brucella abortus capnophilic bacteria right so option d is right answer yes hi dr basharat ahmed hi very good evening right come to third question protein molecules that activate very large number this question is quite interesting because we have something uh, interesting to find out in the end of the question Uh, protein molecules that activate very large number of T cells, irrespective of their antigenic specificities, are. So, what we call the protein molecules that activate very large number of T cells, irrespective of their antigenic specificities. Option A, antigens. Option B, super antigens. Option C, mitogens. Option D, super mitogens. So what do you call the protein molecules that activate very large number of T cells, irrespective of their antigenic specificities? Yes, Parichai uh, uh, Akshaya says option B. Parichai says option A. Ganga, Koma, Lashwarya, Hi, Sunita. So you all say super antigens. Okay. The antigen is something which stimulates. endogenous T cells so you mean to say based on the super antigens uh, help in stimulating more number of T cells yes harshit ipsita yes komal sharma also says super antigen yes so super antigen is right answer option b So these super antigens are certain protein molecules. For example, Staphylococcus enterotoxins. So enterotoxins produced by Staph are examples for these super antigens. So these. super antigens are nothing but protein molecules which have the potential to activate very large number of t cells in respect to of their antigenic specificities you know what in a normal case scenario whenever a specific antigen enters into our body it activates around 0.001% of t cells that's a normal case scenario when an antigen enters into our body it usually on an average activates 0.001% of t 
T cells. But you know what? These super antigens have the potential to activate more than or around 20% of the T cells in our body. So a very large number of T cells are being activated. Hence, these uh, substances, protein molecules are called as super antigens. And the best example is enterotoxins produced by Staphylococcus. So this exacerbated T cell activation leads to massive outpouring of T cell cytokines. Obviously, more number of cytokines are also produced and released, causing multi-system dysfunction, such as seen in case of staphylococcal toxic shock syndrome. So we have this staphylococcal toxic shock syndrome because of enterotoxins produced by staph, and these enterotoxins have this property of superantigen. Right, so these super antigens are nothing but those protein molecules which can activate a very large number of T cells around 20% which leads to production of enormous quantity of cytokines which further leads to multi-system dysfunction. So these are some of the features for example the best example I have mentioned in text is Staphylococcus toxic shock syndrome right. So that's why I said this is something which is quite interesting. So option B, super antigens, is the right answer. And mitogens are nothing but those substances which activate or which induce the division of lymphocytes. So mitogens are certain substances which induce the division of lymphocytes. Right? Yes. Okay. Option B is right answer. Good. Now moving on to penultimate question. Enrichment media. Again, another purely memory based question. Enrichment media and transport media for Vibrio coloring include alkaline peptone water, Monser's taraconate telluride peptone water, both, none of the above. So enrichment media as well as transport media for Vibrio coloring. So why did you opt for both? Because both seems to be a better guess compared to other options. How do you know the answer? Enrichment media and transport media for Vibrio Colore include. Alkaline petrol water, monster star alcoholic, telluride petrol water, both and none. Okay, uh, tell me the difference, uh, what do you think is the difference between enriched media and enrichment media? I've written this here, enrichment media and enriched media. Are both the same or do you think there is any specific difference between these two? Enriched and enrichment. Yes, Parichay. Good, so both are totally different. So in what way are they different? Can you elaborate? Yes, Mohan, very good. Subhashish, Sunita, Aishwarya, Garki, BA, says option C, including common, right? So what is enriched media and what is enrichment media? And then after discussing this, we'll come back to the answer again. Very good. Yes, B. Yes, Ipsita. Absolutely. Yes, Akshay. Bingo. So, as you all know, as you all rightly mentioned, enrichment media contains certain substances, certain promoters, as well as in few contexts, certain inhibitors to selectively allow growth of certain organisms. 
For example, selenite F broth is an example for enrichment media which promotes the growth of salmonella at the same time prevents the growth of E. coli. So that's the best example for enrichment media which we can quote in this context. So enrichment media as you mentioned we have certain promoters and in some context they can be inhibitors to inhibit growth of other organisms. So specific organisms are grown like selenite F-prop for salmonella, LJ media in case of mycobacterium tuberculosis as we discussed previously. Now what is enriched media then? Yes, as you said, enriched media contains it. So, for example, any media which promotes growth of certain group of organisms, blood agar, chocolate agar, adding egg proteins, whatever it is, right? So, that's an enriched media, right? Very good. So, that's very, very important. Now, enrichment media and, yes, exactly, enrichment media and transport media for Vibrio Colorway include both alkaline peptone water as well as monster star colored telluride peptone water also make a note of pH right so alkaline peptone water the pH is alkaline peptone water pH of 8.6 alkaline and monster staurocolloid telluride peptone water Monsters thoracolate telluride peptone water so monsters thoracolate telluride peptone water has a pH of 9.2 ok you just make a note of it so these act as both enrichment media and they also can be used as transport media for Vibrio coloring. Option C is right answer. Now moving on to the final question. Yes, Garji. Your friends have already... Uh, yes, Komal. Very good. So you guys have found out the pH values which is extremely impressive. Yes, Garji. <laughs> so enrichment media is something which allows growth of a single species of organisms like for example as I quoted selenite F broth for salmonella whereas enriched media right enriched media is something which is enriched with some nutrients it can be nutrient agar, blood agar, chocolate, chocolate agar whatever to promote growth of various group of organisms or microbes in general right so that's the difference between enrichment and enriched media right Enrichment enriches a specific group of organisms whereas enriched media is something which is enriched with nutrients or any other substances to promote growth of group of organisms, right? I hope I've answered it clearly. Yes, Kanga. Yes, Ipsuda. pH is hard to remember but unfortunately we have to. Right. Just make a note of all these memory based values in your notes, that's going to help you at a later date, right? Now coming to final question. Fecal oral root mode of infection is seen in. Fecal oral root mode of infection is seen in. Hepatitis A, Hepatitis D, Hepatitis E, Hepatitis C. And by the way, Ganga has given us some point. Uh, Ganga says selective media for embryo color is TCBS. Okay. Thank you for adding the point, Ganga. You welcome, Gargi. Right. So final question. Do not take it for granted. It's not easy. Right. Uh, Fico oral root mode of infection is seen in hepatitis A, hepatitis D, hepatitis E, and hepatitis C.
BS. Dr. BS says hepatitis A and B. A Parichai, hepatitis A, Sunita, Komal, Neha, Akshaya, Komal Sharma, Aishwarya says again A and D. Komal, option C. BS says it's both. Parichai also says the same. Devna A. Mohan says hepatitis A. So what do you think is the right answer? Right? So it's both <laughs> and I think like trick question. It's a casual question, but I wanted to make sure that you're following the right concepts, right? Uh, it's not that always, uh, see, at least in discussion, uh, we should have uh, a different format of questions, right? So that it makes you think and answer appropriately. So you can consider whatever it is. Yes, it's both option A and option E, right? Yeah, both option A. Even in our test series, we have named this test as surprise test. We have given uh, both options as right answers, right? Yeah. Sometimes you'll be having these kind of questions also. I mean, at least in our discussions. I'm not talking about the final exam, right? No, okay. Aishwarya, BA, Parichai, Devuna, Epsita. I know you're all sharp. Yes, we are most welcome, right? So this is what I want to discuss. And regarding other options, let me just complete. Mode of infection, hepatitis B. Hepatitis B, what do you think is mode of infection? A and D, you said fecal oral route. What about hepatitis B? Hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and hepatitis D. Very good. Hepatitis B, it's blood transfusion. Yes. Sexual, vertical, hepatitis C and D also it is percutaneous. Yes. Good. So both option A and C are right answers. And by the way, these are the questions which are being framed by us, right? We are referring standard textbooks and we are creating questions. So you will not find these questions elsewhere. I mean the exact copy of questions, right? So you need not really worry about the answers. So you can have two options as answers or three options as answers. It doesn't matter as long as we are learning the right answer okay with explanation Mohan I hope it's clear yes Kanda that's very very important I wanted to highlight this actually hepatitis B the mode of transmission is percutaneous sexual as well as vertical as Ganga has rightly said at birth right vertical transmission from mother to fetus yes very good so these are some of the points which I wanted to discuss this week both from oral path medicine part 2 and microbiology. I hope you enjoyed our discussions. We are trying to keep these discussions to less than 30 minutes and we have been successful in doing that at least because previously the live session used to be 1 hour, 1 and a half hour or even 2 hours. Uh, hats off to all the students who were live for such a longer duration to their patience and interest. Anyways, we'll try to put our live session short, sweet and short and we'll try to discuss more and more points in the coming weeks ahead. So I hope uh, you have started your preparation seriously. Neat MDS 2019. So that's the reason I put the same word in the beginning of this title, uh, the title of the video. So just believe in yourself as I keep on saying, don't uh, take time for granted. Even though you have healthy amount of time, try to make maximum use of it. Every day, every hour is very important. It doesn't mean that you should stop all other activities and focus only on study. Try to maintain a balance, try to have a healthy lifestyle, good food, exercise, other activities as usual, but stress upon your prep and definitely going to do good. Right? So there is no magic bullet here, it's all your hard work, commitment, and as I keep on saying, it's all your hard work, consistency, and self-belief. These are the things which finally take you to your required target, right? So dream big. And by the way, we have reached our 15,000 subscribers mark last before week, but because of time constraints and all, we couldn't officially announce it. So now we have around 15,800 plus subscribers and 
so far we have more than 8.8 lakh views to all our videos combined and the entire credit to all of you for extending this wonderful amazing kind of support and this is possible only because of the collaboration we have been having right so this is a combined achievement and love you all and i hope and i wish i'll be having the same kind of support even in the near future and even in future not just near future but in future right and i also wish you all the best if you have any further questions you can drop them at how to be dentist at gmail.com wish you all the best love you all take care right Yes. Yes, P. Thank you so much for your love. Yes, Akshya. That's very important. That's what I keep on telling my students. Also, it's not about winning or losing. See, you win, you enjoy, you uh, just enjoy the process of winning, or what you say. You definitely feel good when you win. But when you lose, it's not that you're losing something, but you're learning the process. But the most important element here is. we shouldn't miss the fun in enjoying the process so enjoying the process of learning is very important and that would ultimately serve the purpose right and glad to hear that you're enjoying you're welcome you're most welcome i assure you uh, sakeep yes they may miss those long sessions definitely we should plan longer sessions as we move forward right uh maybe from october or november we will we shall spend more and more time with you guys like you welcome mohan sunitha yes i sure you most welcome parichay ipsita glad to hear that ipsita ganga akshay harshi so sakib you welcome sakib says 15912 subscribers now Okay, thank you for the update, uh, Sakib. So we will be touching sixteen thousand soon. Yes, Mohan, you can just drop a mail for our live session schedule. We'll be having live sessions every week on Wednesday and Thursday at eight p.m. Right? Yes, thank you, B. Harshit. It's okay, Gargi. You haven't disturbed anyone. That's good. You're most welcome. Yes, Harshit. that's very important the term pdbd family really inspires us really inspires everyone around here so we are doing this as a family and that's really wonderful to hear from your side as well i have this blessing in fact all my previous batch students had this uh, feeling of a combined unit of family which really pumped us up even before exam or during exams or even after exam or even till today and that feeling is i personally feel very very important Yes, work it in. Yes, it's through skin, parental. Yes, Subhashish, you're most welcome. Yes, Sakib, let's hope for the best. Exactly, Bhi. Komal, thank you. Okay. Right. So get on to your preparation. Give your uh, weekly tests as soon as possible. Do not delay them. Give your best, and always remember the best comes to you. Even though it takes some time, or it's not always spontaneous, or doesn't happen within fraction of a second, just like a WhatsApp message delivery. But definitely, when you give your best, the best comes to you for sure. Right. So see you all next week, next Wednesday again at 8 p.m. Until then, bye. Love you all. Take care. Yes, per chair. We'll do it one day before, right? Because we have to create patients. We're not copying patients. We're creating patients. It obviously takes time. So we're giving you a soft copy of patients at least a few hours before the live session, or at least we'll try to give it one day before live session, right? We'll try. And glad that you have given your input. Yes. Good night. Take care. Spokojno, ojno, chi.
So it's a translation of good night in Russian language. Spokojnochnochi. Bye.